My beloved child, I speak to you now with the tender love of a father who cherishes you beyond measure. Listen closely to my words, for they spring from the depths of my infinite wisdom and boundless affection for you. I have created you in my image, imbued with dignity, worth, uh, and a capacity for love that reflects my very nature. Each facet of your being is a testament to my creative power and loving intent. In this vast tapestry of existence, I have woven you as a unique and irreplaceable thread. Your life is a masterpiece, carefully crafted by my loving hands. Each breath you take is a gift, each heartbeat a reminder of my constant presence. I want you to embrace the fullness of life, to experience the richness of genuine connections, and to shine brightly as the remarkable individual you are. Your uniqueness is not an accident, but a deliberate choice on my part, designed to bring a specific kind of beauty and purpose into the world that only you can fulfill. Love, my child, is the essence of who I am. It is the force that binds the universe together, the power that overcomes darkness, and the balm that heals the deepest wounds. I call you to love as I have loved you, with sincerity, depth, and selflessness. Let your heart be a wellspring of compassion, your words a fountain of kindness, and your actions a testament to the transformative power of love. This love is not merely a feeling but a choice, a commitment to seek the best for others as I continually seek the best for you. But hear me clearly, my precious one. Love does not mean tolerating mistreatment or diminishment of your inherent worth. I have created you as a bearer of my image, endowed with immeasurable value. When others fail to recognize this truth and treat you as anything less than the treasured being you are, it grieves my heart deeply. Your worth is not determined by the opinions or actions of others, but is intrinsic to your very being as my beloved creation. For a continuous spiritual boost, Set this video to loop and let its teachings transform your perspective. In such moments, I want you to remember your true identity. You are not defined by the opinions or actions of others, but by the unshakable truth of who you are in me. Stand firm in the knowledge that you are loved, cherished, and worthy of respect. Do not allow the short-sightedness of others to dim your light or erode your sense of self-worth. Your identity is securely anchored in my love for you a love that is unchanging and unconditional. When you encounter those who seek to belittle, demean, or devalue you, I call you to respond with the wisdom and strength that comes from intimacy with me. First, lift your heart in prayer for them. Intercede on their behalf, asking that I would open their eyes to see the beauty and worth in every soul, including their own. Pray that they may experience the transformative power of my love, which alone can heal the brokenness that leads one to mistreat others. This act of prayer is a powerful spiritual weapon, capable of breaking down strongholds and bringing about change in ways you may not immediately see. This act of prayer is not merely for their benefit, but for yours as well. It guards your heart against bitterness, aligns your spirit with my nature of forgiveness and keeps you tethered to the source of all love and wisdom. In praying for those who hurt you, you participate in the divine work of redemption and maintain the purity of your own heart. It is an act of spiritual warfare, combating darkness with light and hatred with love. Yet, my child, understand that prayer does not always mean prolonged engagement. There are times when the most loving action, both for yourself and for the other person, is to create distance. This is not an act of retaliation or rejection, but a recognition of the boundaries necessary for health and growth. It is an acknowledgement that true change and healing often require space and time, and that constantly exposing yourself to harm is neither wise nor beneficial. Toxic relationships and harmful friendships are like thorns that choke out the flourishing life I intend for you, if you want God's grace always upon you. Then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button, because this message took us a lot of efforts. They drain your spirit, distort your perception of self and others, and hinder you from becoming all that I have created you to be. 
It is not my will for you to remain in situations that consistently undermine your dignity, crush your spirit, or lead you away from the path of wholeness and peace. Recognizing and addressing toxicity in relationships is an important aspect of stewardship, caring for the life and gifts I have entrusted to you. Departing from such relationships requires courage, discernment, and often, a deep trust in my guidance. I know the prospect of leaving familiar connections, even harmful ones, can be daunting. The unknown can seem more frightening than the pain you've grown accustomed to. But hear me clearly, you need not be afraid. This step of faith, though challenging, is a crucial part of your journey towards wholeness and fulfillment. I am with you always, an ever-present help in times of trouble. My hand guides you, my strength upholds you, and my wisdom illuminates your path. As you step away from relationships that diminish you, you are not stepping into a void, but into the fullness of my care and provision. This transition may feel uncertain, but it is a sacred journey of growth and restoration, led by my loving hand. Trust in my perfect timing and my flawless plan for your life. I am working all things together for your good, even when you cannot see or understand the intricate tapestry I am weaving. Your obedience in setting healthy boundaries and prioritizing your well-being is an act of faith that honors me and aligns you with my best intentions for your life. It is a declaration of trust in my provision and a step towards the abundant life I have promised you. As you navigate this journey, be patient with yourself. Healing and growth take time. There may be moments of doubt, periods of loneliness, or pangs of grief for what was lost or what could have been. In these moments, draw near to me. Pour out your heart in honest prayer. For I am your safe haven, your strong tower, and your compassionate confidant. I understand your struggles and your pain, for I too have experienced rejection and betrayal. Let my empathy and comfort wash over you, bringing healing to your wounded heart. Remember, my child, that your worth is not determined by the quantity of your relationships, but by their quality. It is better to walk alone for a season, hand in hand with me, than to be surrounded by those who lead you astray from the path of life and truth. In this season of transition and growth, focus on deepening your relationship with me. Let my word be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Meditate on my promises, anchor yourself in my unchanging love, and allow my spirit to renew your mind and heal your heart. This time of solitude can be a precious opportunity for spiritual growth and self-discovery. As you create space in your life by departing from unhealthy connections, I will guide you toward relationships that reflect my love, uplift your spirit, and support your growth. These connections may come in unexpected ways and from unanticipated sources. Keep your heart open, your discernment sharp, and your trust firmly placed in me. I often work in ways that surprise and delight, bringing beauty from ashes and joy from sorrow. The relationships I have in store for you will be characterized by mutual respect, genuine care, and a shared commitment to growth and godliness. They will challenge you to become your best self, encourage you in times of difficulty, celebrate your victories, and point you continually toward me. These connections will be a tangible representation of my love for you, providing a safe space for you to be authentically yourself and to flourish in all aspects of life. They will reflect the kind of community I intend for my children, one of love, support, and shared purpose. In the meantime, embrace the opportunity to cultivate self-love and self-compassion. Treat yourself with the kindness and respect you desire from others. Nurture your gifts, pursue your passions, and invest in your personal and spiritual growth. Type Amen in the comments and don't forget to share this message with up to three people so that God can help you. As you learn to value yourself as I value you, you will naturally attract and connect with others who share this healthy perspective. This journey of self-discovery and self-appreciation is a crucial foundation for building healthy relationships with others. Remember, my beloved, that your journey is unique. 
comparison is a thief of joy and a distraction from the specific path I have laid out for you. Some seasons are for building, others for pruning. Some periods are filled with activity and connection, while others are marked by solitude and reflection. Trust that each phase has its purpose in shaping you into the person I have designed you to be. Embrace each season with gratitude and openness, knowing that I am at work in every circumstance. As you walk this path of love, boundaries, and growth, remain rooted in my unchanging truths. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, created for a purpose that only you can fulfill. Your life has immeasurable value, not because of what you do or who you know, but because of whose you are. You are my cherished child, heir to my kingdom, and a co-creator in my ongoing work of redemption and restoration. Let this truth be the foundation of your identity and the source of your confidence. Let my love be the foundation upon which you build your life and relationships. Allow it to heal your wounds, restore your confidence, and empower you to love others from a place of wholeness rather than need. As you receive my love fully, you will find yourself better equipped to extend genuine love to others without compromising your boundaries or sacrificing your well-being. This love, rooted in your secure identity as my child, will transform not only your life but the lives of those around you. In your interactions with others, strive to be a reflection of my character. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Extend grace to others, recognizing that everyone you meet is fighting their own battles. Yet, maintain the wisdom to discern between those who are worthy of your continued investment and those from whom you need to create distance. This discernment is a crucial skill in navigating relationships and one that I will help you develop as you walk closely with me. Practice forgiveness, not as a way of excusing harmful behavior, but as a means of freeing yourself from the burden of bitterness. Forgiveness does not always mean reconciliation, especially in cases of persistent toxicity or abuse. It is, however, a powerful tool for your own healing and a testament to the transformative work of my spirit within you. Remember that forgiveness is a process, often requiring time and my divine assistance. Be patient with yourself as you work through this challenging but liberating practice. As you navigate the complexities of human relationships, continually seek my guidance through prayer, meditation on my word, and attentiveness to the gentle promptings of my spirit. I will grant you the wisdom to discern true friends from false ones, to recognize genuine love amidst shallow affection, and to make choices that align with your true identity and purpose. This ongoing communication with me is vital for maintaining clarity and direction in your relational journey. Remember that healthy relationships are marked by reciprocity, respect, and mutual growth. They should energize your spirit, not drain it. Amplify your strengths, not exploit your vulnerabilities, and draw you closer to me, not lead you astray. If a relationship consistently fails to meet these criteria, it may be time to reevaluate its place in your life. Be courageous in this assessment, knowing that I support your pursuit of wholeness and healthy connections. In your journey of setting boundaries and cultivating healthy relationships, you may encounter resistance or misunderstanding from others. Some may accuse you of being selfish or unloving. In such moments, stand firm in the knowledge that true love, the kind I exemplify and call you to embody, is not about endless self-sacrifice at the expense of your well-being. It is about fostering an environment where both you and others can thrive, grow, and become all that you were created to be. Should you feel the need for God's blessings, do not hesitate to type yes I need in the comments section. Your commitment to healthy boundaries is an act of love, both for yourself and for others. As you step into this new chapter of prioritizing healthy relationships and honoring your worth, be prepared for periods of pruning and growth. Like a gardener tending to a beloved plant, I may remove certain relationships or situations from your life to make room for new, life-giving connections. Trust in this process, even when it feels uncomfortable or uncertain. The discomfort of change is often the precursor to beautiful transformation. Embrace the journey of self-discovery that comes with setting boundaries and choosing healthier relationships. 
As you distance yourself from toxic influences, you may uncover parts of yourself that were previously overshadowed or suppressed. Celebrate these discoveries, for they are glimpses of the unique and beautiful individual I created you to be. This process of uncovering your true self is sacred work, bringing you into closer alignment with my design for your life. In your quest for healthier relationships, do not neglect the most important relationship of all, your relationship with me. I am the source of all love, wisdom, and strength. As you deepen your connection with me, you will find yourself better equipped to navigate the complexities of human relationships. Spend time in my presence, listen for my voice, and allow my love to fill you to overflowing. This intimate communion with me is the wellspring from which all other healthy relationships flow. Remember, my child, that your journey toward healthier relationships is not just for your own benefit. As you learn to love yourself, set boundaries, and cultivate life-giving connections, you become a beacon of hope and an example to others who may be struggling in similar situations. Your growth and healing can inspire and encourage those around you to seek the same for themselves. In this way, your personal journey becomes a powerful testimony of my transformative love and grace. As you continue on this path, be mindful of the different seasons of relationships. Some connections are for a lifetime, others for a season. Learn to discern the purpose and duration of each relationship, holding them with open hands and trusting my guidance in their ebb and flow. This perspective allows you to fully engage in each relationship while remaining open to the new connections and opportunities I bring your way. In your pursuit of healthy relationships, remember the importance of community. While individual connections are vital, there is also great value in being part of a larger community of believers. Seek out and engage with a community that shares your values, supports your growth, and provides opportunities for service and fellowship. In such a community, you can both receive support and offer your unique gifts to others, participating in the beautiful tapestry of interconnected lives that I am weaving. As you grow in discernment and wisdom, you may find yourself in a position to help others navigate their own relational challenges. Embrace these opportunities with humility and compassion, always pointing others toward me as the ultimate source of healing and wholeness. Your experiences, both positive and negative, can become powerful tools for ministering to others when surrendered to my redeeming touch. In the journey of healing and establishing healthy relationships, be mindful of the power of your words. Speak life into your own heart and the hearts of others. Let your speech be gracious, seasoned with salt, bringing healing and encouragement. Guard against negative self-talk and the temptation to speak ill of others, even those who have hurt you. Instead, let your words reflect my love, truth, and grace. My child, pause the video and click the subscribe button to join me. As you walk this path of relational growth and healing, remember that it is a lifelong journey. There will be ups and downs, victories and challenges. Embrace each experience as an opportunity for growth and deeper reliance on me. Celebrate your progress, learn from setbacks, and always keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and perfecter of your faith. In moments of doubt or difficulty, recall the many promises I have given you in my word. Meditate on scriptures that remind you of your worth, my love for you, and my faithfulness. Let these truths be anchors for your soul, steadying you in times of uncertainty and guiding you in times of decision. As you cultivate healthier relationships, pay attention to the fruits they bear in your life. Healthy connections should produce love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If a relationship consistently produces anxiety, fear, or resentment, it may be an indication that boundaries need to be adjusted or that the relationship needs to be reevaluated. Remember that forgiveness and reconciliation while related, are not always the same thing. You can forgive someone, releasing them from the debt of their offense against you, without necessarily restoring the relationship to its former state. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. 
freeing you from the burden of bitterness and resentment. Reconciliation, on the other hand, requires genuine repentance and changed behavior from the offending party. Wisdom and discernment are needed to navigate these complex waters, and I will guide you every step of the way. As you grow in your understanding of healthy relationships, you may need to redefine your expectations and boundaries with family members. Family relationships can be particularly challenging to navigate, especially when unhealthy patterns have been established over many years. Approach these situations with patience, grace, and firm resolve. Remember that honoring your parents does not mean tolerating abuse or remaining in toxic situations. Seek my wisdom in finding the balance between honoring family ties and maintaining healthy boundaries. Amen.